Here, a key test of Barack Obama's climate plan is under construction. Uh, behind us, through the trees, and behind the cars, and through the fog, is the Kemper County Energy Facility. And at this particular plant, we remove uh, the carbon dioxide, or much of the carbon, about 65% of the carbon in the fuel uh, is captured as carbon dioxide. Now this might look just like a mass of pipes and steel, but this coal-fired power plant is different than any other power plant operating in the world today. For this facility, given the CO2 control level that we have, the carbon footprint is essentially the same or maybe even less than a natural gas plant that doesn't have carbon capture. The technology that is going to come online here later in 2014 will, for the first time, take the carbon dioxide emissions out of the coal and send them down a pipe and not out into the atmosphere. The EPA is finalizing regulations that would require all new coal plants to adopt similar climate-saving technology. The agency says Kemper is a real-life model of how that could work. We expect the plant to use 4.2 million tons per year of coal. There's 420,000 tons of coal sitting there right now. We take the coal, uh, it's mined, uh, prepared into the proper size, uh, dried, and then fed into a device that converts it into a gas. That gas is then cleaned, is sufficiently clean to burn in a gas turbine. Well, you're looking at the uh, acid gas removal system. It's removing both hydrogen sulfide and CO2, which are both acetic gases. That gas turbine then uses that energy to make electricity. The captured CO2 is compressed and sent off down a pipe to be sold for use in oil and gas drilling. There's only one problem. The facility, which includes the plant, the mine, and the CO2 pipeline doesn't come cheap. At $5 billion and counting, it's one of the most expensive power plants ever built in the U.S. It's already more than $2 billion over budget. And much of that bill is going to be footed by taxpayers in the form of $700 million in federal grants and tax credits and at least $2.8 billion in rate hikes for Mississippi power customers. At the state capitol in Jackson, politicians and lobbyists say the plant is an expensive boondoggle with dubious climate credentials. What we have said all along with, with Kemper, it's dirty, it's expensive, and it's unnecessary. It's in a league of its own. I mean, there is nothing that even comes close to touching this price-wise. The Sierra Club's Louis Miller says the company's much more interested in testing its signature coal-burning technology than in saving the climate. It was never about carbon capture and sequestration. The only thing this has been about is getting the federal money to jumpstart this project and to do a trial test run of their technology, their trig technology, and get the ratepayers to pay, and the federal government to pay for it. I'm worried that what will happen is that, that the cost will continue to escalate and it will, it will be more on the ratepayers than on the company itself. In other words, even if this coal plant could save the climate, the public will be stuck with a very large bill. It's on the company to build it. The profits might end up being less than they had anticipated. But right now, they're passing those costs on to the ratepayers. And I think that's wrong. Mm -hmm.